Something tried to eat it while I wasn't ready. Oh, got him! Oh, fish on! We got one! Stay on there! Stay on there! Stay on there, big guy! Go, come on, go, come on, go, come on, go, come on! Yeah! Woo! We did it! What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited for today's episode for a couple of reasons. The first of which being we are going fishing today, which is always exciting. But the main reason I am excited for today's episode is because today we are going fishing with a crazy lure that I've been geeking out about for the last few weeks and I finally have it in my hands inside of this box and we're going to be unboxing it and trying it out on the water today to see if we can catch fish with it. Now, if you clicked on this video based on the title and thumbnail, you might have an idea of where I'm going with this. Now, I don't want to build up too much anticipation to make y'all wait too long, so we're just going to bust right into this here package. But I want you guys to know that inside of this box could quite literally be the most electric bass fishing lure that has ever hit the fishing market. So, let's bust into this box and let me show you guys this bait that we're talking about. And the bait that has me so excited to go fishing today. Okay, box is open. We're going in. Straight from Tackle Warehouse and from Duo International, we have, oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. Look at this. It is our very own Pikachu topwater fishing lure. Wow, this thing is amazing. Now, I'm sure that most of y'all that are watching this video are familiar with Pokemon, and if not, well, that's okay, you're going to become a little bit more familiar with it today. Pokemon is one of the largest franchises in the world, and I am so pumped that they and Duo Realis teamed up to create this one-of-a-kind fishing lure. Now, before we get too far into this, I'm going to give you a little backstory on my Pokemon history. Uh, being a 90s baby growing up in the late 90s, early 2000s, Pokemon has always been a big part of my life. I love collecting the Pokemon cards, uh, playing the Game Boy games, the Nintendo games, watching the TV show and all the movies. Whenever I reminisce and think about my childhood, I think of two things mainly. I think of Pokemon and fishing. And what a better way to combine those two things into one thing. We have a Pikachu fishing lure. Now, I am excited, probably just as excited as y'all are, to bust open this box and see what this bait actually looks like. So here we go. We have got the Pikachu out of the box. The packaging was great, by the way. That packaging was awesome. If you wanted to just use it as a collector's item, you could set this thing on the shelf and just look at it all day. But that is not what we're going to do here. We are actually going to use this bait and try to catch some fish with it. Let's get it out of here, hopefully without hooking ourselves. So this bait is designed to be fished on top of the water, and it has a jitterbug style lip. So if you're familiar with fishing a jitterbug, um, on a slow retrieve, this bait should have a slow rocking kind of waddling action on top of the water. Um, something that I'm noticing already with this bait that I didn't realize at first is that, it, ow, did y'all see that? Those hooks are sharp. Is that this bait actually has three hooks. We have one here underneath the chin, one here at the rear, and then one here on the tail, which I think is actually really nice because if we have any short strikers, they're gonna get the hooks. And I wanna feel the sharpness of them again. Those hooks are sticky sharp. Wow, they honestly look maybe a little bit small on the lure. Maybe not, they look pretty good, but I'm not exactly sure how well the hookup ratio is going to be if we are able to get bit. But nonetheless, I am very excited to try this bait out today and see if we can catch a fish on it. We're gonna be taking this lure out to a location where I have tried out many crazy lures before. Um, it's a spot where I know there's fish, I know that they're usually pretty hungry, and it's a spot where I feel like I can get a good gauge on if a lure is actually functional and if it actually has the capabilities to catch a bass. So guys, if y'all are Pokemon fans like me and excited to see the action of this bait in water and hopefully see a bass come up and smash it, do me a huge favor, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing challenges. We're getting pretty close to the 200,000 subscriber mark, so it would mean the world to us if you could hit that subscribe button and help us reach that goal. But with that being said, let's get this bait tied up and let's get a first look on the water of the action of the Pikachu lure. Let's go. All right, so we got Pikachu all tied up on our fishing rod. I'm anxious to see how well this lure casts. So let's do a few test casts and then we'll show you guys the action. Here we go, first cast. Not too bad. Pikachu casts pretty well. It's got a little bit of a tumbling motion in the air, but overall, oh my gosh. Guys, y'all are not gonna believe the action on this thing. That thing looks sick. Take a look at this action, guys. Look at that nice, wide, wobbling action. It kind of sputters on top, leaves a nice bubble trail. That is incredible. That is awesome. All 
It's an element that our Pikachu lure casts well and has an amazing action in the water. I am very excited to go out and try to catch a bass on it. So let's load up, let's head to the fishing spot. All right, guys, we just made it over here to our fishing spot. The water looks pretty good. It's crystal clear, but there's some grungy stuff on top, which might impede the action of our Pikachu lure, but we'll surely find some good spots to throw it. I actually already see a few fish swimming around, which gives me a lot of confidence we're gonna be able to actually catch a bass on it today. Uh, as far as gear goes, I'm throwing a six cents ESP rod, seven foot, three inch, heavy powered, moderate fast action. I've got a bait cast reel spooled with 50 pound braid. This bait weighs around an ounce, so I like a little bit stiffer rod to launch this bait out here. And if it gets stuck in some grass, I can yank it out of there pretty easily. But anyways, I'm very excited to get this fishing mission underway. Let's get down there and let's see if we can catch ourselves a big old bass on the Pikachu lure. Let's go. start right here at this water discharge. This is a spot I've caught a lot of fish on crazy lures before. Let's pitch Pikachu out there and let's see if we can catch ourselves a fish. That was not my best cast ever. It's got a nice little rocking side to side motion. And I know for a fact these fish have never seen a lure like this before out here. Oh, fish on, fish on Pikachu, fish on Pikachu. Get over here, don't come off. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Yeah! Woo, we did it! We did it! We actually caught a fish on Pikachu. And he ain't that small either. Holy crap. I can't believe it. We actually caught a bass on Pikachu. That did not take long at all. That is crazy. I can't believe it, guys. Check this out, we've been out here about five minutes. We've walked down the creek a little bit from that discharge and we've caught our first bass. This is actually a little spotted bass and he just gobbled up that Pikachu lure. He actually got all three trebles in him. That is incredible. Not a monster bass by any means, but I am so pumped that we actually caught this fish on this bait. That's what's so fun about throwing these crazy lures is just the rush of actually getting bit on them. So we can definitely now say that the Pikachu lure will work. Let's get this guy unhooked. These hooks are so sharp. I don't want this fish to like hook me with them. All right, we got all the hooks out of that bass. Let's take him down there in the creek. Let's let him go and let's see if we can catch another one. All right, big guy. We will see you later. Get out of here. Get big. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. There he goes. That is so awesome. Oh, fish on! Another fish on Pikachu. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger bass. Stay on, bass. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Come up here, Daddy. Come to Daddy. Let's go. Whoa! We got another one on Pikachu. Yes, a largemouth bass. Not only does Pikachu catch spotted bass, but he also catches largemouth. Let's go, man, that is so sweet. Another bass on the Pikachu lure. This is our first largemouth. He's slightly larger than the spotted bass. I thought he was a bigger bass than this, just by the way he came up and crushed little Pikachu. These hooks on this bait are no joke either. These things are so sharp. Like the last bass had all three hooks. This bass has all three hooks in him. That is crazy. I love that they have the hook on the tail. I mean, it's just a really nice touch. All right, let's see this bass unhooked. Let's throw him back in there and see if we can maybe catch a couple more. That is so crazy. All right, the bank is way too steep for me to get down there, so I'm gonna give him a light toss back in. Take it easy, buddy. Get big. Let's go, that's so awesome. Oh, a horrible cast. Oh my God. Something tried to eat it while I wasn't ready. Oh, got him, got him, got him, big one, big one. Big one. That's bigger than the last one. Come on, baby. Get in the bow, boy! Let's go. I am freaking out. It's another spotted bass. They keep getting a little bit bigger. Dude, look at the way that fish got that Pikachu. The hookup percentage on this bait so far is fantastic, which I was a little bit skeptical at first, but those hooks that do open on this bait are just so sharp. Like, the fish just comes up and breathes on it. He's going to get hooked. That is crazy. I gotta be careful not to get hooked. These fish are so feisty. That's our second spotted bass of the day. He's getting close to two pounds, probably not quite two pounds, but that guy made the biggest splash on that bait. I thought I had a three pounder or something. That's all right. If they're fighting over it like that, there's probably some more over there. Let's get him back in the water. Let's get back out there so we can catch another bass on Pikachu. See you later, buddy.
so we fished down the creek in pretty good ways with no more luck on the Pikachu lure, but we've just got here to this nice little riffle area and it looks pretty promising. So we're gonna go down there and make a few casts more with the Pikachu lure so we can catch another bass. But if not, we've had a great time out here catching some really cool fish on the Pikachu lure. And we also might make a few casts going back upstream, but first let's go down in those riffles and see if we can catch a monster on the Pikachu. Fish on, we got one. We got one, stay on there. Stay on there, stay on there, big guy. Get up here, woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. Not the monster we were after, but that is our fourth bass on the Pikachu lure. He's got all the hooks in him. This is a very dangerous situation we got here. These hooks are sharp and this guy looks to be pretty lively. I mean, look at how the fish got that thing. He is just all hooked up in all different sorts of weird ways. He wasn't coming off at all. Let's try to get him unhooked without getting hooked ourselves and uh, let's get him back in the water. All right, buddy. We reeled you all the way up that hill. We're not gonna throw you down there. Give you a nice, gentle, easy release back here into the ditch. That water is so pretty. Yes. What a cool spot to catch a fish on a Pikachu. All right, we just released our fourth bass we caught on the Pikachu lure, but I think that we are just about out of time. It's getting late. There's a storm starting to come in. So we're gonna start making our way back upstream towards where we started. We're gonna make a few more casts of the Pikachu on the way out, but if we don't catch anything else, that's all right because we've had a great time out here throwing that new lure, seeing how it works and seeing if it actually catch fish, which we know now it does. So let's make our way back upstream towards where we started at and see if we can maybe pluck off one more fish. Right there should be smashed. Right there. Always oh, a little something. You see that? There he is! There he is! That's a big one. Oh my gosh, it's the biggest one. That's the biggest one. Get up here. Oh, he came off. Shoot. I blew it. Get it right there. Get it right there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Stay on there. Stay on there. Get up here. Get up here. Whoa! Look how much line I had. I just lost one. Was not gonna lose that one. Yes! And there you have it, guys. An official five bass limit on the Pikachu lure. Man, it's been so much fun catching these bass out here in this ditch today. Although this one's not a monster, it's just crazy. Like I've said a million times already in this video that these fish will actually come in and eat this crazy looking Pikachu lure. I know it's something they've never seen before and maybe that's why they're eating it. But guys, that is so much fun. I definitely recommend you guys check this bait out. If you want a cool bait to do a challenge with, this is one that works and obviously catches some really nice fish. With that being said, I'm gonna toss this one back in and we're gonna call it a day. All right, big guy, thanks for biting. We will see you next time. Peace. To say that today's fishing mission was a successful one would be an understatement. We caught five really nice bass and we lost a few other ones out there too, all on the crazy Pikachu lure, this bait is awesome. I had my doubts at first when I first got it that I was actually going to swim right and be able to catch fish. I didn't think the hookup ratio was gonna be good, but this bait proved me wrong. And while it is just a little bit of a gimmicky bait, it actually works and actually catches fish. So guys, I definitely encourage y'all to try a crazy bait for yourself in one of your favorite fishing spots. It's just a lot of fun to do these types of challenges. And it's just a different type of rush every time a fish comes up and blows up on that lure. But guys, this is where I'm gonna end today's episode. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If so, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. I'm Cole Harkin and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.